Okie doke. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks. I've been using the Gear 360 camera. I, I got a couple of beefs with it. One, uh, alright, let, let's start with some kind of cool stuff. When you start it, it, it kind of makes R2-D2 type noises. So, okay, that's cool. Bad thing is, I mean, it's easy for it to bang on this. I've been, the selfie stick I'm using has a quarter 20 mount, which fits right here. So I've been using it on that and then clamping that into stuff, which, I don't know if you can hear that, but it, it's easy for it. Uh, and I have no idea what buttons I just pushed. Um, so it's easy for it to fall and bang and I'm not sure if that means something isn't functional in there now. Uh, I, I like it, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to use. And so here's the problem: is I'm uh, and the the app may be a little bit buggy. So if I go to camera, it's going to load files it finds on the camera. And if I want to upload it to YouTube, I then have to select whatever it is click save then it downloads to the phone all right i'm going to click save it goes through the download process and then it's on my phone now i can upload directly from my phone if i want but if i want to edit it and i found some uh let's see what's the software here uh, it's DaVinci Resolve, and I've installed it. I, I'm running Mavericks on my laptop, so you can still see my, my laptop's running Maverick. Uh, I installed Sierra on my wife's iMac, and so I installed this software on the iMac. I just started it. It looks like it runs, so uh, that's all I know about it. Oh, I got a text message. Anyhow, so... You record on the camera through their buggy software. You got to download it on your phone. Then I plug my phone into the USB port on the Mac over there. And then I copy the files to the hard drive. And then I unplug the phone, plug the USB 3 drive in, and then copy the files from, that are on the hard drive over to the USB 3 drive. And then I can take it over to my wife's iMac and edit the files. It, it's not a happy thing. And it's a little buggy. Uh, there's some software that I've used in the past uh, that Door to Door Geek recommended that I was very happy with. And I can't seem to get it work anymore. Uh, so I could connect like SSH to use the network option and it would connect to storage on my network. And that just hasn't been working. So anyhow, the uh, it isn't connecting to my SFTP drive anymore, which was nice because then it was on my network and all the computers could see it. I gotta figure out why that isn't working. But right now, I would like to thank my patrons. So that's Andy Meows, John Hollinger, Umar Sear, Matt Champ, and Token Linux Guy. Guys, thank you so much for your support. All I ask for people is $1 a month. Oh, does that look weird? Sorry. Um, support me, my tech, and go to flyingrich.com because at flyingrich.com you can find links to my Patreon and you can find links to the three, I did that right, three podcasts that I'm on. So one, the Linux Link Tech Show. Two, uh, the mini PC show and three, which I'm occasionally on is the makers. It's we record late Friday night and uh, Usually by Friday. I'm wiped out. So also uh, I have been doing 3d printing stuff as much So my content is kind of light although there there's all sorts of 3d printed stuff around here Ooh, And I don't know if you notice but and that's like the world's worst print I'm very upset about that like I printed that so that that's kind of like my makeshift dock and you see the macbook is sitting up like that and that's because one of the feet broke and i made a foot anyhow guys thank you for your support
I really appreciate it. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and uh, you're going to have a good Christmas season. I'm going to quick upload this. And so flyingrich.com, you can visit all of my podcasts, two that are on Podnuts, one that is on the Linux Link Tech Show. And in case you're wondering, episode 735, and I only have five fingers on this because I would, on this hand, because I would do it. Wouldn't that freak you out if I had six? Anyhow, uh, episode 735 streamed live, uh, but wasn't recorded. That's the Linux Link Tech Show. So in case you're wondering if the Linux Link Tech Show... Uh, we, we missed one week because of Thanksgiving, and now there are two, a gap of two shows because the one that we uh, did live on Wednesday was not recorded, so it will not be broadcast. And uh, so the Linux Link Tech Show does persist and survive. Uh, and 735 shows, that's a pretty good record. Guys, take care. Have a great weekend. Enjoy.